Good morning, guys. Mm. Go ahead. Oh, you joy. I'm good. It's here. We're well, here. Time. It's the NBA playoffs. It's <laughs> going to be a do fest over here. I'm going to have to rent a warehouse to pile up all the cases of Diet Mountain Dew I'm about to take from you, steal from you, b b slick you into. Yeah. What do you got over there? Can uh, you see clearly first, without your glasses? Uh, no. First of all, I hope you enjoy this the first round because as far as your team will be advancing. Uh, mm. uh, boy, that's, team. you know, Joy, that was the boldest statement he's whoa, ever whoa, made whoa, on whoa. Undisputed. The, Spur the Spurs with, uh, with Manu, the sixth man of the year, and Popovich mm -hmm. and all these titles. Overachievers. Uh, Ugly little underdogs. That's uh, all they are. So a five-time champ. As far as you get. A five-time champ is an underachiever. Against the favorite to win it all? Really? Way to go, Shannon. Uh, uh, Gutsy. Whoa, whoa, You're whoa. off to the races. <laughs> whoa, whoa, no, whoa, don't worry about my team. Yeah. My team, we good. Yeah. Because JR said we got the best player ever. So we good. Oh, yes, yeah, JR. We'll talk about well, don't that. do that. Don't do that, Joy. Do that. How are you, Shannon? You enjoy y'all little, you know, little mm -hmm. one, one game win. Mm -hmm. Joel and B to send y'all guys home packing. <clears throat> And Maybe. then he might send we'll some see. other people home packing. You won't bet nothing on that. Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. Is we'll JR going to get his tattoo removed or? What tattoo? His Jordan tattoo or no? Yeah. Gonna get him maybe, no, maybe he doesn't get the whole thing removed because he wears 23, so maybe he'll just get the... When you're young, you do dumb uh, things, Joy. Uh, oh, He's right. wise now. Right. Wise beyond the years. removal, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's get started. Let's start with the latest on Colin Kaepernick. Adam Schefter reports the Seahawks plan to bring in Kaepernick in for a workout. The team officials postponed the trip after Cap would not say if he would stop kneeling during the national anthem. NFL Network reported a slightly different version, saying the Seahawks asked Ka Kaepernick about his plans for next season, including how he'll handle the anthem, and they'll meet at a later date when Kaepernick has a firm plan in place. Right now, Russell Wilson is the only quarterback on the Seahawks roster, but Adam Schefter reported they signed Stephen Morris this morning. Morris has never thrown a pass in the NFL. Shannon, what's your reaction? By canceling this meeting, Skip, this is verifiable proof that Colin Kaepernick not playing last year, Colin Kaepernick not being on a roster currently, has nothing to do with his ability to throw a football. Now, we've heard Commissioner Goodell, we've heard uh, so many owners, from John Mara to uh, Mr. Kraft to Jerry Jones, a lot of owners have said the NFL is a talent-based business, and we want the best guys. We want to win. Well, they didn't cancel this. They didn't postpone this meeting because Colin Kaepernick had a pulled hamstring. Mm -hmm. They didn't postpone this meeting because he had something, a, a hitch in his throwing shoulder. They postponed it because he could not commit to not kneeling during the national anthem. Mm -hmm. Not kneeling during the national anthem has nothing to do with physical ability, Skip. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with whether or not you can read a defense, whether, whether or not you can throw a football. The protest is the reason why Colin Kaepernick is not playing in the NFL. And Colin must understand whether this is his third uh, stop or his fifth. or his, He's going to get asked this question. Yeah. He needs to be able to give them a definitive answer. If you go for a job interview and, and, and it says, okay, we're looking to hire you. Can you work this hour, these hours? And you say, well, I can't commit at this time. Mm. What the hell you think they're going to do, Skip? Yeah. They're going to try and find somebody that can commit to those hours. Mm. Colin, you're going to get asked this question. You need to, when you go in there, you need to be able to give them an answer. Either you will or you won't. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. You waffling doesn't help any. It doesn't help you. Because they're perfectly fine with moving on. They're looking for a reason not to give you a job, Colin. Don't give them another reason. Even though this is not a reason, this should not be a disqualifying reason for Colin Kaepernick. But obviously, he knows that it is. Don't give them even more ammunition. Mm -hmm. But Cap's also going to have to understand, if he wants to play, he's going to have to change his attitude. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get into a whole lot of specifics, but I know things. He's going to have to change the way he does business. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. Because, Cap, what you need to understand, the NFL is going on 99 years of existence. Mm. They played with, we, with you, and they played without you. Mm -hmm. They will continue. So the question that you're going to have to ask yourself, do I want to play 
and possibly, because I'm not going to view him differently, Skip. If he gets up, if he stops, says I'm not kneeling doing the anthem, mm-hmm. I'm gonna still, I'm still gonna fight for this cause because I believe we've moved it past this. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna hold that against Colin Kaepernick, but he must make a, a decision. He must a- ask himself because I don't believe he can do both. Mm-hmm. He can, but not in the NFL because they're not gonna allow it. Very well said and powerfully so. Now, back to the point that Joy made before I respond to your points. Let me get this straight. The Seattle Seahawks just signed Stephen Morris, who, for those who have forgotten, played at the U, as in the University of Miami. Mm -hmm. He was just a one-year starter. He went undrafted. He has never played, as Joy pointed out, a single down or thrown a single pass in the National Football League, and he has now bounced around to his fifth team. He did not play all last year. He wasn't on a team all 2017, and he just got signed by the Seattle Seahawks, presumably as their backup. Maybe he's just the third string. I don't know, but it's not like he's now a developmental quarterback because he's been around too long for that. Well, maybe he'll, they hope he turns into Kurt Warner. Right. Well, isn't this laughable to it you? Is. So let's go back to your Ravens about a week or so ago. Actually, it was a week ago. Just ahead of the collusion hearing starting that we're going to feature some interrogations of Steve Bashotti and Ozzie Newsom and John Harbaugh, right? Mm-hmm. They signed a Robert Griffin III. I used to be the biggest RG3 fan, but you know and I know what has happened to him or not happened to him. And... He has been, the last time I saw him two years ago, he was a pathetic shell of his former self. And then all last year, he did not play football. And all of a sudden, the Ravens signed him when they had a big opening that could have been a Colin Kaepernick special right there, right, on a silver platter. What, what is happening here? Aren't the, That's almost like two, two big slaps in Colin's face, right? What, what, it, it just, it's just so offensive to me that it's, it's laughably offensive. I thought winning. Yeah. Was the bottom line business of the NFL? <sighs> Clearly, it's not. Okay, so let's get back to, in your view, Shannon Sharp. Mm-hmm. Your view is that it is a legitimate and fair question to ask Colin Kaepernick or Eric Reed, mm-hmm. "How are you going to handle yourself next year as right. it pertains to protests?" Correct. Is that that's fair game, yes. right? Yes, I believe okay. it is. So if he if he answers yes, you're okay with them saying no to him? If he says yes, I'm going to continue to protest? Well, that, that, but here's the thing, Skip. When you protest, you have to understand, protest comes with consequences. No doubt. Muhammad Ali didn't take no. his stand and says, okay, guys, okay, I've done it. Enough. I've gone long enough. They said, look, if you're not going to the draft, you're not fighting. He says, okay. He was good with it. So he, he gave up. Three of his best. Three? It, it's his like, best it, it's is, just prime time. Yes. It's like right in it, he, as he's entering his prime. Yes. He says, for three years, I will sit this one out. I'm good. Can you imagine the money he cost himself? Yes. You want to talk about paying a price? A, a steep price. <sighs> okay, so consequences come, and maybe they've come now. Okay, so do I, I think we all agree that of all the available quarterbacks, Colin Kaepernick's like in another league from anybody who's available right now because clearly, do do I even need to restate the case that he came within within one controversial throw that I thought was pass interference Mm -hmm. of winning the Super Bowl, and the next year he came within one slight underthrow of getting back to another Super Bowl. That's how good he was for those two years. Mm -hmm. Has he struggled in the last couple? You can argue, but he's been beat up. He's had three different injuries. But he did have his last year as 49er starting quarterback, even though they were going 2-14. and 14, He threw 16 touchdowns to only four interceptions, and we've detailed a couple of the road games, the one at Miami. He was really good. And as he got healthier, he yeah, played better. He did. So we agree with that. And yet, I'm going to say what I've been saying from the very start. It's just painfully clear to me that these 32 owners, and I, I can't speak for all 32 of them, but a majority of these 32 owners, if you want to call it collusion, call it collusion, they jointly agreed that Colin Kaepernick and Eric Reed were just bad for business last year, bad for their bottom line, mm-hmm. right? Yes. Now, can I 
Can I detail that with, by the ratings? Do I know that for a fact that they were bad for business? Because I'm not sure about it. Right. There were many injuries, like Aaron Rodgers was gone. We can go on yeah. and on with all the big names that right. dropped Sean out. Watson, no, Watson, yep. Watson. Sean Watson, we just keep going on and on. Did those losing those stars, superstars hurt range? Sure it did. Did uh, we could just Odell walk. Beckham? Odell, no, there's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was a bad year for yes. injuries. It really was. Mm -hmm. Okay, it, it, are we sure that the protests were the bottom line reason to some ratings fall off? I I don't know that for a fact, but they I think that's what they have they decided. They attributed to right. Correct. Okay, so is that collusion? Is it collusion? Because I don't know. Now I'm I'm out of my league and way out of my lane. I don't know if you can prove in a court of law that just because these owners got together and said, you're bad for business, that that's collusion mm -hmm. to keep him out. I, I don't know. But by all accounts, everything I've read by people who do know the legalities, they think that Colin and Mark, Mark Garagos' lawyer, are, they've kind of got the NFL on the run a little bit here. Like they're starting to score in the collusion right. hearings. That's just their, their takeaway. I mean, it, it doesn't help the NFL's case mm -hmm. when they postpone a meeting because a guy can't answer them whether or not he will kneel doing the national anthem. Okay, which brings me to my final biggest question about this whole scenario of what happened yesterday. Doesn't it feel like a high-stakes game of chicken that they're playing? The NFL versus Colin, where as the collusion is the hearing is going on. Was it Jerry Jones got right. interviewed yesterday? Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. As it's going on, suddenly Seattle calls cap, and then it becomes this high stakes game of who said what about what exactly? Because then something transpires or whatever, and then the NFL puts out its version of it, while Cap and company put out their version of it. Right. right. And they're kind of conflicting versions. Right. So are we sure this isn't just a game of collusion chess that's being played here? Because <laughs> you got to be careful, Skip, because anything these owners say can be held and will be used against them. Yeah. They know that. So they're very, very mindful of how they navigate the Colin Kaepernick. But Cap must understand. Eric Reed, Cap kneeled first. Eric Reed stood beside him. So basically, he's like when Dr. King... And then you had Andy Young. Yep. You had Joseph Lowry. You have Ab Abernathy. Those were his right-hand men. So they were lumped in with Dr. King. So Eric Reed is lumped mm -hmm. in with Colin Kaepernick. You know this mm -hmm. as the, the two faces of the, the kneeling protest. You know, Skip, you're going to get asked that question. Both of these young men have had over a year Mm -hmm. To say, I know they're going to ask me these questions. When they ask, this is what I'm going to say. Okay. Either I'm going to stand right. or I will continue to kneel. Okay. But to say at this time, I can't commit one way or another, mm -hmm. why not? Mm. Okay. Because what is going to trans... Because if you say yes, I, I'm, at, okay, I, I'm looking at it like this, Skip. Okay, if you say yes, what will, what will happen that will force you to go back down on a knee? And if you say if you say no, I mean yes, mm -hmm. you continue to say it. I mean I, I just don't get it, Skip. What, I mean after a year and a half, you can't answer one way or another a definitive okay. yes or a definitive no. Okay, so are you okay that Seattle said no yesterday uh, again? Given given the they reporting? say we will be willing to circle back yes. when you have a more definitive answer. Okay, all right, I got it. So you know Cap a little bit. I do. Gut feeling, bottom line, Shannon Sharp believes... Colin Kaepernick is not playing football. Okay. And now to the, the deeper question, does he care more at this point in his life about returning to be a quarterback in the NFL or to continue to be the leader of what became an extremely crucial movement in the history of this country? Skip, for me, and I hope Cap understands this... Mm -hmm. His light will never be as bright as it is at, when he's playing on an NFL team. Mm. Tim Tebow is still doing great things, but it does not generate the attention that it did when he was quarterback of the Denver Broncos. Yep. He's still helping children. He's still been in hospitals, but it doesn't <clears throat> care. It doesn't get the attention. And so what Cap He does have some advantage. Yes. He's still on television. Right. And he's, go and ahead. he's still playing a, a professional, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. trying to play a professional yeah. sport. Okay, go so ahead. So, Colin, the, the question you're going to have to ask yourself, and when you go in there, says, okay, 
if I'm if I stop kneeling, what are you going to do to help me advance this cause? Mm -hmm. Because this doesn't stop. There's still things going on, even as I stand up. So what are you willing to do to help me advance this? You know, skip people and everybody's like, well, uh, he did not kneel during the game. It's on the peripheral. Huh? Yeah. So you got the national anthem. Skip, let me ask you a question. These teachers that were protesting in West Virginia, the teachers that were protesting in Arizona and Oklahoma, mm -hmm. are they protesting on their time or the <clears throat> school's time? Mm -hmm. See, Colin Kaepernick, how does he hurt the viewer? He doesn't hurt the viewer. You don't want to, you don't like what he's doing, you don't get to watch. He's hurting these kids because these kids are sitting at home. They're not getting educated. That's a fact. But see, you see, and it's like, well, they're trying, see, and, and, and I, I get it. You making thirty thousand dollars a year, and and, I, and I've seen pictures of these these classrooms, but I think what Colin Kaepernick is doing might be <clears throat> even more special, Skip, because it doesn't. It's not him. Mm. It takes a see, Skip. If I can change a tire and I change my own tire, okay, well and good. Mm. But if I stop and help a stranger to change his tire or yep. her tire, mm -hmm. Colin Kaepernick is trying to fight for people that don't have voices. That cannot be that cannot stand up and be seen. Mm -hmm. So he should be applauded. But he must understand that everybody is not on his side. Mm -hmm. Given America's history, that's just the way it is. Okay. So going into a job interview, Skip, just like with you with any job. I don't know if you've ever been fired. But if you get fired, normally when you go on the job, they ask you, okay, what happened at your last place of employment? Mm -hmm. I don't care to talk about that. Mm -hmm. people like, oh, what, what you mean you don't care to talk about that? That's not how it works, Skip. Mm. I'm sorry. Okay, so we agree that a majority of these white billionaires have decided you're just bad for our business. Correct. Does that mean that a majority are racist? It, it might, but it might not. I don't know right. for a fact. I, I, that's kind of where we're getting with right. this whole discussion, right? Mm -hmm. Does that mean they're completely insensitive to the cause that Colin is leading? Maybe, maybe not. They would argue, I think, that, wait a second, at the end of last football season, we just dedicated millions of dollars mm -hmm. to your community causes, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And Malcolm Jenkins, the leader of that player coalition that some of the black players don't agree with, right. starting, I think, with Colin and Eric Reed, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But Malcolm Jenkins, highly respected, now Super Bowl champion, leader of the Philadelphia defense. We talked about him the other day, yep. right? He said, I'm good. Right. Like, I appreciate this, and I'm ready not to protest anymore. Right? Right. Now, was he bought off or silenced with, I don't know, He at least, I, I think the money is going to be paid to community causes, I think, right? I think Malcolm Jenkins has started, Malcolm Jenkins has started, has started to realize, and I hope this is what Cap and Eric read, you're doing a great job, but you don't have the reach of these rich billionaire owners. Yeah. So you probably need to say, you know what, let me get back in the league and let me ask, what are you willing to do? Can you help me advance this? Mm -hmm. Because if we, okay, we were here, that was to get people's attention. Yep. The kneeling was to get people's attention. Mm -hmm. Okay, now skip. We got first quarter, <laughs> second quarter, third and fourth quarter. Now that we're to the, we're at halftime and now we're getting ready to go into the third quarter. What's the new stage? Where do we go now? Where do we go now, Cap? Where do we go now, Eric Reed? I mean, wh what are we going to do? Mm. Well, I mean, the purpose of this protest was to bring attention to injustice. Correct. You're never going to end racism. You're no. never going to end, uh, unfortunately, these murders. But the purpose was to bring attention to it, Correct. which it did. All movements evolve. Correct. But what it comes down to is these owners aren't worried about black and white, necessarily. I mean, some of them are, but I won't paint with a broad brush. I think that they're worried about green. Green, yeah. So they, they, it wasn't about people not watching football. If you watch football, you're going to watch football. Right. And it's not even during the football game. Right. So you can't argue that. I think it's just polarization. So half the people were told a narrative about what this protest is really about and believed that, and the other half knew what it was about and were angry that Kaepernick wasn't in the league. So you have polarization, not necessarily yep. people not watching it. And these owners and people are quick to bring up Muhammad Ali and Dr. King – just dismissing the fact that Dr. King was assassinated and yeah. Muhammad Ali had three years of his career taken away yeah. for standing up for what spy. he believes in. Exactly. So, um, you know, the, the bottom line is all of this has to evolve. And you're right. He is going to be asked about it. Eric Reed is going to be asked about it. 
what's the next step? They need to figure that out because it was to bring attention to it and the attention has been brought. So mm -hmm. what happens now? Now new conversations have to be had. So that said, overall, yeah. um, you know, as far as priorities go, Reuben Foster is still uh, on the 49ers. What Foster, do you do about Vontaze? So. Mm -hmm. And here, the, skip, the problem, priorities are still in line. You know what I have a problem with is when owners say our fans, mm -hmm. you know who they're talking about, Skip, as if we don't matter. Like, we don't buy people. Well, that's what I'm saying. We the, don't the, buy member We don't it, come it together. It polarized people. It, it, it split everyone uh, d down the middle. You had to pick a side. Pick side, correct. And whatever you are closest to is going to be the side that you hear. Well, mm. we started picking sides, Skip, in late 2015 and all the way through 2016. And on that first Tuesday in November, mm -hmm. you had to pick a side. Mm -hmm. You pick this or you pick that. So in the end of now... It's not more. It's not the Cowboys against the Packers. It's not the Broncos against the, the Raiders. You hear or you hear. Mm -hmm. That's what we are. Or you don't vote. <laughs> exactly. Right. Right. <laughs> well, LeBron and Durant meet in the finals again. Skip and Shannon give their NBA playoff picks next.